Glória to God. All the honor be given to the God. Hallelujah. Exalted be your name, Lord. Glory to God. We have already been blessed. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I greet everyone, our visitors, our brethren, with the peace of the Lord Jesus. It was a great joy that we are back here, seeing our brethren once again. We're going once again meditate on the Word, my brethren, to seek what the Lord has for us, each one of us. revealed by his own will in a service which is prophetic that's why we're going to stand up in reverence to the reading of the word of the Lord Ezekiel 36 Only verse 26. Ezekiel 36, verse 26. Thirty-six twenty-six. Ezekiel thirty-six twenty-six. Ezekiel 36, verse 26. Has everybody found? It says the following. I will give you a new heart and put I put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh the church may sit down everything that the Lord wants my brethren is to bless each one of our lives everything that the Lord wants is to take care of us everything that God wants is to reveal Himself to us. Everything that God wants is to show us that we are special for Him. We have been chosen by Him. We have His assistance. We have His love. We have His peace. We have His revelation. We hear His voice. We walk in His presence and that's how we live. Completely being able to reach by God and totally aware of what God has been doing and his, in the midst of His people. People that is His. A people that He Himself purchased with a price that He paid for us on the cross and everything that he wants to do throughout time is to show to those that are passing by this world that there is a God that is above all things 
that there is a God that has something to reveal to our hearts. That's how it was in the past. The care of God uh, back then in Noah and Adam and Daniel and Abraham and Moses and Paul with John and the island of Patmos. The same care that God had is the same care that He has. And today we're blessed with the complete revelation of His Word. We live not in the time of Adam. We don't live in the time of Moses. We don't live in the time of Moses and Daniel. We live in a time which were going to be difficult times. Times where the manifestation of the revelations there he uh, left for us it will be a moment in which he was going to come back. This is the moment in which we are living. And in what location we are inserted in the word of the Lord. We are living the book of revelations. We are, uh, we are inserted in this day, this time, and this time. We are inserted, inserted at the end of the third trumpet. Where the prophecies are being fulfilled in our days. And very soon we'll be departing with Jesus. That's be the name of the Lord. The prophecies continue. We'll be there. And summarizing what God reveals for us through His Word is there is there is a salvation. There is a servant. There is a solution for your problem. There is a God that wants to change your life. There is a God that is tirelessly calling you. Every day He's calling you. Every day He's extending His head. Every day He's revealing Himself to you. The power of God was the same as it was in the past. The manifestation of the Lord is the same as it was in the past. The pouring out of the Holy Spirit is upon a people. And we are being blessed with this salvation. Salvation only in Jesus. Salvation is only in the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Salvation only when we give our lives to this God that died for us. And now, after come finishing this introduction, the text that we just read, it speaks of a, a change of life, a change of intimacy, an ch interior change. The text speaks of, about two hearts. The text speaks of a new heart. The text speaks of, of a transplant, heart transplant. The text speaks of a heart of stone. My brethren, we were like this. One day away from the presence of the Lord, we thought that we had life. We thought that we had a heart that was alive. But all of a sudden, we realize that we have been able to be reached by a God that extended His hand towards us, still far away. We met a God that gave us something new. The Lord went there and brought us back to His presence. So when someone needs a new heart, it's because that person is ill. It's because this person is losing life. It's because he knows that his days are numbered. Man without God, it lives like this. Man lives like without life. There is eternal life of God. Man lives distant from the revelation of God until the moment in which God calls and God transforms and God renews and that God operates so that there so that there then there in order to, for to have a donor there needs to be comparability with the person that is 
is receiving the heart, our new heart. It didn't come from any of us. Jesus, the Son of God, He came down from heaven. He became man. He lived as a human being so that, that uh, His heart would be donated and so that that heart will be comparable with our lives, my brethren. He didn't deny his heart. He came down to this world. And he died for us. You only receive a new heart if somebody dies. In order for you to receive a new heart, that needs to be a death. Jesus died for us. And he came and he gave himself and he with his own hands with his work he himself transplanted now as the doctor of doctors he did a transplant he convinces convinced us of sin through his holy spirit he convinces us he removes he doesn't leave two your old is now worthless your old man is it's past the heart of for this this world has already passed incredulity has already passed Hard, hardness has passed uh, the lack of assurance has passed sadness has passed sin no longer has power the one that used to guide our lives no doesn't guide our lives anymore we have now a new heart a heart that has power he pulses it's life pulsating it's a power that is in the blood of Jesus is upon us every day purifying us of every sin it's a heart that is sensitive it's a heart that has blessed be the name of the Lord has the blessing of God because God is inside of uh, inside of him God 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 gave us life and now walk in a different way now that we are walking now we're in a new objective with a new desire now looking towards heaven now understanding the call loving god above all things now we now without any failures the heart that used to fail now it doesn't fail a perfect heart now we're walking and we are being victorious and we are happy because it's hard it pulsates inside of us and now all of us all of us we have a gratitude inside of our hearts do you know why because when somebody receives a heart from someone that died in his place the death was that belonged to that person that person would never forget Whoever receives a heart never forgets of the person that died for him. Every day, every day. Whoever receives a heart remembers that he has a heart that somebody died in his place or her place. My brethren, Isaac, when he went up to the mount with his father Abraham, Isaac never forgot about that lamb never that lamb was was a price for his salvation the lamb was his life the lamb allowed him to go down the mountain and that his life would continue this lamb gave him uh, the means to survive it was marked my brother we're living like this as well we are being marked by the power that is in the blood of jesus a people that is not forgetting this lamb a people that is not forgetting this god that died for us god that gave us life that died for us a people that is walking with this assurance that, that very soon we're going to be going up and going through eternity and soon we're going to be meeting with this god that gave his life for us the eternal life that he gave for us We'll never die in His presence.
because what he did for us was a perfect transplant. N never more hardness and lack of assurance. Now we have only one assurance that Jesus is inside of us. We are his people. We walk in his presence. We are blessed by him. Blessed be the name be God. May God bless us.
going to do. Let's be the name of the Lord. Lord of Jesus. The Lord has shown that it is with us a man in this situation. A man that moved to Florida looking for a better way of life. There's no sin in it. Each one of us fight for a better life. It's, it's good to uh, have objectives, a better life for our li for our wives and children. But he was sincere in the presence of the Lord. Because he said, Lord, I came to seek something new in what was material goods. But my heart has hardened. I'm leaving away from your path. There's something new that's missing in my life. And tonight, especially, the Lord gave this new heart to that man. God touched his life did this transplant and he fell the renewal of the Lord and speaking of the Lord he left this place amazed and transformed because that's how God manifested and he said God spoke to my heart remember Brad I invite everyone to once again to stand up close your eyes let's pray Let's be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Holy you are. Blessed be God, be our God. Holy are you, Lord. Lord, we praise you. We give you honors because it's good, Lord, to be in house meditating on your word singing songs of praise to your name in fellowship with you we are now and we praise you Lord because you are present among us and because you have spoken to our hearts because we are your people your church blessed be your name Lord for another service in your presence and now we offer you this service in the name of Jesus and we say that the love of God, the grace of the Lord Jesus, the sweet and tender and holy consolations of the Holy Spirit be upon us from now and forever. Amen. The church may be seated. Our service has come to an end. We want to pray with you. We want to give you assistance. We want to um, answer to any question you might have. We are not in a, in a hurry. We are here at your disposal. If you desire, if you desire, raise your hand, and one of the brethren will be going towards you.